sometimes life can throw you a curveball. But it's how you react that makes the difference. Here's Misha with today's Love It, Misha. Well, a Canadian man suffered life-changing injuries in a hunting accident, but he's found a way to push past limitations and pursue a new passion. George Woodworth is a quadriplegic, and as a woodworker, he loves to carve and create, ignoring all limitations. Let's meet him. The smell of maple and pine hangs thick in the air of George Woodworth's wood shop in New Brunswick, Canada. Everything is coated in a thin layer of sawdust, but he leaves no footprints in that dust, only tire tracks. George is a quadriplegic with limited use of his arms. I'm living a life now that I wouldn't have you couldn't have convinced me of back then. George fell from a tree 10 years ago while hunting and that fall changed his life. Confined to a wheelchair, the former renovator and contractor found ways to continue woodworking in spite of his paralysis. He's cut, sanded, lacquered, and laminated hundreds of cutting boards and serving trays as well as transfer boards. Plaques built for helping to move those with physical limitations from one chair to another. But despite overcoming his limitations, his wife says the problems with living with any successful woodworker remains the same. But obviously, he can't leave his boots at the door, so the, the chips and the sawdust come in on his wheels. Yeah, a little marital humor there, and George is close to getting another set of wheels. His neighbors, friends, and family are close to raising the money needed for a van that Woodworth could actually drive himself. And while he acknowledges there's some irony in a fall from a tree, then turning him into a woodworker, he says there's nothing that could stop him from doing what he loves. And that's what it means to live a purpose-driven life, reminding us that no matter what we go through, we can always turn that situation into something not only positive, but helpful and inspiring to others. That's legacy. That's what it is. Way to lead, George. Love it. Positive How spirit, inspiring, certainly. isn't he? Yes. Yeah, my buddy actually became paralyzed during Snowcross. He broke his back, and he goes around the world as a motivational speaker right now. And you always have those examples of people we know in life that just lets it continue yeah. on and help so mm -hmm. many people. So Great story. Thank go. you, Misha. You Appreciate it.